Andy Mogul. This episode of Eric Builds the Movies is brought to you by Tongle. Woo! Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Eric Builds the Movies in our new workshop, AKA my garage. Sorry car, you're sleeping outside. Shut up, car! Never should have given it sentient life. This week, I'll be tackling one of your most requested projects to date, the portal gun from Rick and Morty. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's all the comments popping on screen. I've been doing this for a while. This handheld device has an annoyingly unique shape. A red LED display and green light up plasma tube on top, three green lights up front, and to control it all, a single black knob. Knob. Let's get started. Step one, electronics. First things first, for today's project, we're gonna be using one of these. Focus. Good job, camera. Now this is called a Trinket Pro, and it's basically a miniature version of this, which is called an Arduino. Now if you already know about Arduinos, congratulations, you're a nerd like me, and you're awesome. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, all you really need to know is that this is basically a tiny computer that you can easily program to control blinky lights and lots of other things. Cool? Let's move on. The first thing I did was make a prototype of my circuit using a breadboard. This allows you to work out all the kinks in your projects before you start chopping things up and soldering them together. I connected four LED lights, a twisty knob, and a four digit display to my Arduino. Then connected the Arduino to my computer via USB so I could start programming. Now I'm not really great at this whole programming thing, but luckily there is a huge online community of people much smarter than me. Like this guy, who made an awesome portal gun and posted his code online. Intentional 3D, thank you. After downloading, I clumsily made some modifications and added the ability to double click the knob to launch a fake firing sequence. I know, I'm pretty much just like the guy from Mr. Robot. To power this bad boy, I took apart one of those cheap USB battery packs for your cell phone. Step two build the main body. This next part of the portal gun is really just a box, so you could build it from scratch using sheets of foam core or styrene or even cardstock. But I was lucky enough to find a cheap project box that was the exact dimensions I was looking for. All I had to do was measure and cut out the holes for my LED display and plasma tube on the top and one on the bottom for my battery controls. The front was pretty much perfect as is and the back will be covered up with the handle. Step three, make the handle. I started with a 3 4 inch PVC T-fitting and a scrap of PVC pipe. Next, I cut the handle off this toy squirt gun thing I found at the dollar store, which made a fun noise, and hot glued it onto the PVC pipe. I actually really liked the futuristic details of this toy handle and thought about just leaving it, but in the end decided to cover it with Bondo and sand it smooth. This took a while. Next, I drilled out a small hole to mount our control knob and a larger hole in the back for the knob and wires to pass through. The T-fitting already fit nicely inside the back portion of the box, but I did have to cut some small circles out of scrap plastic to act as end caps. Next, I super glued these on upside down and got angry. can glue these things on upside down. I got it right the second time though, and our handle was done. Step four build the business end. For the front emitters, I used these bright white LEDs I already had laying around and tinted them green with these novelty shot glass things. Basically, I just chopped off the bottoms and hot glued the LEDs inside. Next, I had to drill three evenly spaced holes in the front panel. The last step was to give it a black paint job and glue the LEDs in place. Step five, make the plasma tube. For the tube itself, I picked up a green bubble wand from the dollar store, drained it, and chopped off the end. In the center of the tube, there's supposed to be this weird plasma ball thing, which I ended up creating by wadding up a bunch of hot glue, adding little hot glue tendrils as I went. Then to tint it green, I just used a dry erase marker. In the end, it kind of looked like a little baby green crane from Ninja Turtles. To light the plasma tube, I wanted to use an extra bright LED. So I harvested one from this high powered flashlight that I got from the dollar store. I also reused the focusing lens and front cap from the flashlight, which fit the tube from our bubble wand perfectly. Step six, assemble and paint. The first part of this process was getting all the electronics to fit snug inside the main body. I attached the charging port and power button thing to the bottom and the four digit display to the top. 
and then carefully hot glued everything else in place. I mounted the knob thing to the handle, then used copious amounts of epoxy to glue the handle assembly to the main body. At this point, it was time to do the finishing touches. I masked off all the delicate parts, then using Bondo, I covered all the seams and built up extra material so I could sand it back down and make it look like the portal gun is made from one solid piece. I then did a second pass of Bondo and more tedious sanding. I ended up doing two coats of silver spray paint to act as kind of a primer, then five or six coats of gloss white, then two or three coats of clear coat. Then I got impatient and overly excited and started handling it before the paint was totally dry. Kind of screwed it up a little bit. So the last step was some light wet sanding with 2000 grit sandpaper, which only kind of helped. But we can always call it a weathering effect or battle damage, right? Despite all my screw ups, I'm pretty pleased with the final product. It charges via USB and the LED display looks awesome, even though I mixed up two wires so that when you turn the knob clockwise, the numbers go down instead of up like you would expect. Eh, I think the front looks good, especially when you fire it. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, quick parting thought on this build. If you have access to a 3D printer or have incriminating photos of someone who does, I would probably just 3D print the shell of this portal gun rather than building it from scratch like I did. I know for some people that is kind of cheating, but for props that have super specific shapes like this one, there are often really good 3D models online that you can download for free and then just print. Speaking of awesome things online, let's take a moment to talk about this week's sponsor, Toggle. If you are a creative person watching this video right now and you wanna make cool stuff and get paid for it, you gotta go check out their site. And here's the deal, it doesn't cost you any money, they're not trying to sell you a subscription or anything like that, totally free. Basically, they're a company that has great relationships with huge brands like Mattel, Lego, Star Wars, Pringles, and their sole purpose is to partner with creative people like you, indie mogulers, and connect them with these big brands to make awesome videos. So for filmmakers, directors, writers, it is a no-brainer. Go check out their open projects, see if anything speaks to you. But even if you're not a filmmaker, they are also paying people just for good ideas. And I'm talking about ideas that are the length of a tweet. Anybody else paying you for your smart tweets? I didn't think so. But seriously guys, we've worked with them for years. We think they're great. Can't encourage you enough to go check out their site. Please use the link in the description and tell them any mogul sent you. Okay everyone, that wraps up another episode of EBM. We will be back next week to kick off Mogulween. That's right, we're bringing it back and we're gonna be doing a build episode every week in October. So let us know what kind of creepy horror themed projects you wanna see us build down in the comments and I'll see you next week.